Hey, what's up YouTube? Dial M back with another tech review. Today we're looking at the Elgato Stream Deck. What is the Elgato Stream Deck? It's a customizable macro keyboard basically that you can use to control many parts of your stream, computer, or even your life. So we're gonna take a look at it, see what it can do, see what it can do for you, and help you figure out whether you El got to get it. Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> So the Elgato Stream Deck, I got mine about a year ago and I've been really happy with it. I use it to start my stream. I use it to control stream elements like chatting in uh, Twitch chat or YouTube. I use it to place various sounds through SoundPad. I use it to play GIF. It's really all around a, a great piece of tech. Setup is easy. All you have to do is download the software. It'll have a default profile listed and uh, you can go from there. You can customize all the keys. You can customize the actions. And one of my favorite things is you can have a multi-action. So you can push the button once and several things happen. For example, I push my key, which starts OBS. It changes the scene in OBS to stream starting. It turns on my sound pad so I can play my sound effect. It starts my music player. So so that I have background music playing and it starts my moderation bot, my stream bot. So that's already going. One button press, seven actions taken care of. I looked on Amazon today and the price of the Stream Deck Mini which has six buttons was $79. The price of the regular Stream Deck with 15 buttons, the one that I have, was $149. And the Stream Deck XL was $249. What you need 32 keys with, I don't know. I couldn't possibly know. So if you have the 32 key version, let me know. Why do you need so many keys? The reason that I think 15 is the perfect amount is that you can have multiple pages, you can have folders, so you could have an infinite amount of icons available. You just need to be able to turn the page. I also use the Stream Deck for Photoshop and Premiere. I have uh, templates for both so that actions that I use often, there's a lot of different keys that I use all the time. So instead of setting a specific keybind on the keyboard, I have the nice little icon to remind me which buttons which and makes it a lot easier it makes using things like premiere pro and photoshop a lot easier to have often used keys readily available easy to see i did see that they came out with a stream deck version 2 the mark 2 as far as i could see the only difference was that you could have a customizable faceplate which if that's something you're into that's great i if it costs more i probably would not get that I don't really care about that that much. If you're new to streaming and you're trying to figure out what important pieces of gear you should get, I would consider the Stream Deck as one of the most important pieces of gear. Having a microphone that isn't grating is important, but you definitely don't need to splurge on like the Shure SM7B that I have. A webcam is nice, absolutely, but I think a, a Logitech E920 like I have back there works perfectly fine. But I would say that a Stream Deck is very good to have. Uh, it allow, it directly impacts your stream because you're able to raise the interactivity, you're able to raise the tempo, have GIF playing, chat in Twitch chat, you know, play sound back. I would consider it one of the best things to use to raise the energy of your Twitch chat. I would even choose purchasing a Stream Deck over something like Mixer, like a Go XLR or something along those lines. I, I really can't emphasize emphasize enough how important I think a stream deck is to creating a good stream either on Twitch or YouTube. So yeah, if you're new to streaming and thinking about getting an Elgato stream deck, I highly recommend it. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on to find your way back for the newest in tech reviews. Thanks for stopping by.